Hello everyone, my name is Jacenia Cosillo. I am a fitness model from Miami, Florida, and today I'm going to show you some cool, sexy booty workouts that you can do right from home. Let's begin. So this exercise right here is called the hip thrust. If you are a beginner, I would suggest you do not use any weight. If you are more advanced, then you can use more weight, just like I'm doing right here. Okay, ladies, so get ready. So you're gonna just slightly go up, tighten those buns, go back down, go back right up, and make sure to always keep your heels on the ground nicely firm. And don't forget to breathe in and out, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Raise right back up. Make sure you get a nice squeeze and right back down. And you're gonna really press from your heels, raise all the way up, get a nice tight squeeze and slowly back down. You're gonna continue to do the same thing. Raise right back from your heels, get a nice tight squeeze all the way up. Don't forget to go all the way up, back down. Right back up from your heels. Nice tight squeeze all the way up. Slowly back down. Okay, remember to breathe, girls. Right back down. So you're gonna raise from your heels again. Tight, tight, tight. And slowly back down. Raise right back up from your heel. Nice squeeze, girls. Go back down. Immediately go back right up, nice squeeze, back down, up, squeeze, 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 make sure you feel those glutes working, slowly back down, back up, make sure to raise really high up, get a nice tight squeeze, go back down, go right back up, down, go right back up. Push with your heel, remember to push with your heel and back down. Remember to keep breathing, girls. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Slowly back down. And if you could speed it up a little bit, it would be even better. Just make sure you get that nice tight squeeze right on the top. Squeeze. Okay, and one very important thing about this exercise, please keep in mind, if your foot is too out, you're gonna be working your hamstrings instead of the glutes. So make sure that you keep your feet nicely together, just slightly apart, and raise high, high up with your heel, right back down. Again, girls, remember, foot out, it's a no, it's foot back in. That's, this is hamstrings, glutes. Hamstrings, glutes. It's right back up. And squeeze, and slowly back down. Back up, get a nice tight squeeze at those glutes, Ugh, right back down. Remember to keep your feet together and as close as possible to your glutes. Okay, business and exercise are called the kickbacks. Okay, so first we're gonna start with your knee in and kick right back up, make sure that foot goes really high up Make sure you're squeezing those glutes. Come right back down, back up. I would usually suggest anywhere from 15 to 25 reps. And um, try to start off with lightweight. Uh, depends, again, if you're a beginner or if you're more advanced. If you're a beginner, you might want to start with five. If you're more advanced, you could go a little higher and try and see what your body feels the most comfortable with. Again, you're going to kick right back up. Make sure you get it. Nice tight squeeze, right back down, back out. Nice tight squeeze, make sure you really pull that leg right up. Back in, all the way up, up. Make sure you feel that burn in your glutes. If you don't feel that burn, it's not working out. So make sure you get that leg high up. And get a nice tight squeeze right back down. And again, this exercise is called the kickbacks. Very effective workout for the booty. Make sure to always remember to keep breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Very important. Back up. 
and back out. Oh, nice tight squeeze. Back in. Okay, now we're just going to continue with the next leg. Again, we start from the inside, kick right back out. Kick right back out, make sure you get a nice tight squeeze. Feel that bird. Okay, right back in, get a nice squeeze. Again, anywhere from 15 to 25 breaths. Depends if you're a beginner or advanced. And the amount of weight could go up range anywhere from 5 to 25, as much as you can take. First try it out. Kick right back out. Make sure you get a nice tight squeeze. If you don't feel that bird, it's not working. So make sure you get that foot really high up. Get a nice tight squeeze and right back in. Remember to stay breathing. I know there's a lot of things to keep in mind, but you gotta do it. You'll get used to it, I promise. Nice tight squeeze. Up. Okay, here's another one I'm gonna show you. You could do about 25 reps of these or whatever it is you feel you can take. Anywhere from 15 to 25, you're gonna keep your leg straight out, high up, back down. You're gonna go straight back up. Make sure you get a nice tight squeeze. Right back down. Make sure your toes do not touch the floor. You keep it leveled out. Right back up. Nice tight squeeze. Slowly go back down. Right back up. Up. Nice tight squeeze. Make sure you point your toes. Keep your legs straight. Get a nice tight squeeze at those glutes once you're raising up. Back down. Remember to keep breathing. Again, you could do anywhere from 15 to 25, whatever you feel the most comfortable with. Okay, now we're gonna switch to the other side. Raise that leg really high up, point your toes. Nice, tight squeeze. Up. Squeeze. Right back up. Get a nice tight squeeze. Okay, everyone, so that would conclude our exercises for today. Again, remember if you're a beginner, okay, start off with low amount of weight and also repetition. If you are uh, advanced, then you could definitely use a little bit more weight and you could do more reps. Just keep that in mind. Always remember to keep breathing and um, that would conclude our day. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and we will see you next time.